Robbie Laws from SchoolofGuitarPDX.com. So happy to be here with you today with your brand new lesson. Today we're going to talk about chord comping, very important aspect, but we're also going to incorporate hybrid picking. We want all notes on deck at the same time. Rather than a, a strum, we will use some strums in specific ways, but we really need this dynamic punctuation with the hybrid picking uh, that, that can afford with some palm muting and that sort of thing, we need staccato. Uh, this piece that I've composed for this lesson is called Function Compunction, which is a funk tune so we're going to get funky a little bit today, uh, which is a whole lot of fun. And compunction, which is a, well, it's a guilty pleasure uh, of playing funk, which I do very much love to play. So I'm going to play a little bit for you. I'm going to break it down. So here we go. Function, compunction in the key of A. So we're breaking these chord shapes down. There's nothing new about them. They might be new to you, but they're they're out there. So this first move is a dominant seven shape. You've heard this a lot. Uh, so we're going to start off with this. This is part one. So A7. We're barring at the seventh fret, picking up the B and the G string, rolling into the D string to grab that root A. Hitting the B and G again down the 5th fret, you got the 5th and the minor 3rd, hammering onto the G with the 2 finger to pick up the major 3rd, so you get this, part 1. Part 2 starts down here on the D string with the root again, A, and then we're going to uh, ascend the A string from the 4th fret up to the 7th fret, playing the major 3rd, the 4, the flat 5, and the 5, and we get this, with followed up with a really nice little dyad, a chord fragment, which is a dominant seven and major third. And finishing off with our little motif right there, as we did with part one, part two. Part three is really kind of a reversal of the end of part two, where, where we're going to park the pinky on the D string at the seventh fret, which is the root A, and descend the A string from the fifth to the fourth, uh, seventh to the fourth fret. Then we're ready to move up to the four chord. So part one, part two, uh, part one, let's do that again. Part two. Then we're ready to move up, and we're, we're going to do a little slide work here, a string skip, starting on the A string at the 7th up to the ninth. skip the D, go right to the G string, 7th fret, slide down to the 5th, pick up the D at the 7th, slide up to the ninth, and then pick up the G again at the 7th. Right? Really nice little move. That kind of move you can play all over the place, and those are great little moves that we'll talk about. Um, then we're going to move into the four chord. We're using this chord voicing, looks like a dominant seven sharp nine, but reality it's only a dominant seven omitting the five. We've got the root, the major third, the dominant seven, and the third again. So then we're going to use uh, part two over the D chord, the four chord, and part three. And then we walk back into A again with part one. Part two and part three into the fifth chord, E. And we're just going to use part one over the five chord. Then we're moving into the four chord with just a basic standard ninth chord, D9. Uh, with that little intervalactic. Uh, slide around. So, uh, index finger coming off the D string at 3rd to the 4th, picking up the G at the 7th, sliding down to the 2nd fret of the D, picking up the G at the 5th, 
then grabbing the A string with the two fingers, sliding from three up to five, grabbing that G at the fourth fret, then sliding down to the third and second. That's it. That's function compunction. I look forward to seeing you guys next time when we really get into this hybrid thing, which I think if you check this out, it's going to expand your playing in a huge way. Not only for comping, but also for single note lines like playing sequencing and cascading lines using large string skips and intervals, that sort of thing. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.